Hi, my name is Olivia and I will be defending the Apis malferia, also known as the honeybee. Hello, my name is Caitlin and I will be defending the Chrysoprila rufolibris, also known as the green lacewing. Today we will be debating which species is more beneficial, the green lacewing or the honeybee. Before we discuss how each species is beneficial, it is important to understand the characteristics and behaviors of each insect. Honeybees have a harder outside shell called an exoskeleton. They have three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Honeybees have a straw-like mouth that allows them to chew and or suck up their food. They also have two large compound eyes and three simple eyes that help with light sensitivity. Um, they also have two antennas that help um, detect pheromones and are used for sensory organs. They have two pairs of wings that help them travel up to 20 miles per hour. Honeybees have a complete life cycle, starting as an egg, transforming into a larva, pupa, and reaching adulthood. Eggs take three, eight, three days to hatch, and there are three different types of adult bees to become. Drone bees are male bees that have no stingers, and their purpose is to mate with the queen bee. Once mating happens, the drone bees will die. Worker bees are female bees that have not or will never reach sexual maturity. Um, they look after the eggs, feed the larva, and they are usually the small, they are the smallest um, be in the hive, but where they lack in size, they make up in um, population. So there's a bunch of these bees, a bunch of worker bees. Um, they usually survive three to nine months. And the final bee is the queen bee. Her only job is to reproduce with the male bees to lay eggs. Queen bees can live up to five years. And once they die, the hive will choose a new queen bee to take its place. Honeybees are social insects that live in hives. They have a caste system. They also become defensive if they sense danger near the hive or um, for the queen. Um, honeybees communicate through a waggle dance um, and are used to inform other members where there's pollen. All of humanity's crops need honeybees to pollinate. Stingers of the honeybee can sometimes cause allergic reactions and wax and honey are both needed to help regulate the economy. Green lacewings belong to the Neuroptera order and can be found all over North America. They tend to thrive in more humid conditions, making them more successful and useful in greenhouses or irrigated fields. This also includes humid climates such as the Southeast and Midwest regions. The appearance and roles of green lacewing adults and larvae greatly differ. Typically, the adults are light green, slender bodied and three quarters of an inch long. They have two pairs of net-like wings that are both translucent and relatively simmer, similar in size and venation. Additionally, they also have long thread-like antenna and distinctive copper or golden eyes. Female adults are capable of laying several hundreds of eggs in which they place a single egg on a thin filament of silk. Adults typically feed on nectar or honeydew, but they tend to lay their eggs near insect colonies that become future prey for when larvae emerge. When describing the appearance of green lacewing larvae, they are commonly compared to alligators due to their flat, elongated bodies. Their coloration ranges from gray to brown, and they also have well-developed legs. However, their most important characteristic includes their unique and curved mandibles, also referred to as long, large pinchers that they use to suck bodily fluids from their prey. When it comes to benefiting the environment, green lacewings are particularly important for agriculture. Unlike lacewing adults, larvae are carnivorous pre predators and are often considered to be generalist beneficials. This means that they can be used as a means of biological control for a variety of field and garden pests. They are primarily known for reducing aphid populations due to their ability to consume 100 to 600 aphids per larva. Aphids are common agricultural pests that kill plants by either sucking them dry or vectoring and spreading plant diseases. I'd like to begin this debate by saying honeybees are the most beneficial insects because no other insect has been able to compare to the magnitude of aid honeybees have helped the human population. 
Honeybees are the best pollinators in the world. Humans not only benefit from honeybees pollinating crops, so does the entire food chain. According to the Texas A&M Horticultural website, 80% of pollination in the United States is due to honeybees. Without bees there to pollinate our crops, um, animals would have lack of food and therefore would die off. NASA has approximated that 130 of the crops in the United States are pollinated by bees. Another huge benefit is that bees make everyday items. Um, there are six usable products that include honey, pollen, royal jelly, beeswax, propolis, and venom. According to the FDA, honey alone has brought in $339 million in revenue. That is a very good point, Olivia. Our food chain does in fact rely heavily on honeybee pollination. However, I must point out that bees are capable of inflicting harm and occasional death to humans and other animals. As you had mentioned, bee stingers can induce allergic reactions that can cause serious and sometimes even fatal side effects. Green lacewings, on the other hand, are harmless to humans and animals. I believe that green lacewings are more beneficial because they regulate and control agricultural pest populations. Without them, these pests would run rampant and ruin important food sources. My opponent made a point that green lacewings aren't harmful to humans and that bees have a venom that can cause allergic reactions. However, what they fail to acknowledge is that bee venom can actually be very, very beneficial when it comes to researching medical conditions such as arthritis. Um, the Win According to the Winchester Hospital, bee venom can be traced back to ancient Egypt and also can be found in the Bible. My opponent also made the point that green lacewings are needed to control agricultural pest population. While it is true that green lacewings do a good job of defending against aphids, insecticides do the same thing. In fact, insecticides not only protect against aphids, they kill off germs and defend plants against diseases. While green lacewings are beneficial, they are replaceable in terms of agricultural benefits. However, the honeybee is not replaceable by any object and or insect. I would have to say that I do agree with my opponent. It is true that there are many ways and forms of both pollination and pest control. However, insecticides are quite complex and their level of effectiveness, safety hazards, and public acceptance vary tremendously. By primarily using insecticide methods, resistance can begin to increase within pest species. Prolonged use of these chemicals can actually lead to insecticide resistance pests which further reduces the effectiveness and resources. By using natural predators, such as the green lacewing, which is actually known to already have a resistance and tolerance to insecticides, we can ensure successful pest control. As I mentioned above, no other insect are able to pollinate as well as bees do. Research is also going into how to mimic bees' behaviors um, when it comes to pollination, if we can somehow mimic these behaviors, it can definitely help with future crop growth and production. With all that being said, I believe I have made very convincing arguments as to why the honeybee is more beneficial opposed to the green lacewing. Also, research is going into apotherapy, which is the medical use for bee venom. In an article titled Bee Venom and Its Therapeutic Values, there was a list of different ways bee venom is being used to um, help treat medical conditions such as bee venom versus arthritis, bee venom versus cancer, bee venom versus the nervous system, and much more. I think that Olivia has provided many compelling arguments but I still truly believe that the green lacewing is the most beneficial. Due to the existing statistics of how they have aided in the decline of agriculture and garden pests, 
It is clear that they are a crucial factor in keeping our primary food crops alive and healthy. These crops supply main food groups across the nation, and if we only use insecticides and ignore the impact of these natural predators, we will lose the fight against such successful species such as aphids. Aphids and other pest species multiply faster than you can even imagine, so we must continue fighting fire with fire, and not so much chemicals. Although it is true that honeybees do in fact provide crucial resources, an insect that can prevent a mass killing spree of our crops is more beneficial in my opinion.